Reimer. McDavid. Bobbled the puck, and that eliminates the play. And he was getting chirped by the Carolina bench after that. To make that decision. Here he is. Turning right A. Oh, by the puck is in the net. Yes, it is a goal. The referee motioning the puck had crossed the line. Shesterkin looks behind him. And the Blue Jackets with the goal by Patrick Line. Rangers thought they had it saved. View the puck did not completely cross the line. Oh. To heaven at the left point. One timer. Kucherov oh. scores! The first goal of the NHL season. Nikita Kucherov. Foot first, left shot, swings in off the right side. Scores off the post and in. I've said this many times. Like, I, I don't understand why. In the no play zone there, he got caught. The puck just slid far enough that he was able to get it out. That was a. Oh, oh scores! From long range, and Calgary's tied it in the most unlikely fashion. Well, how about that sequence? You've got a glorious save on the power play by Markstrom. Tuck wants it up the right side. He likes his play. Tuck behind the defense, back and scores. Coming in on zone by Yoki Haru. Tuck got a tremendous amount of speed. Mark Stahl just crumbles as soon as he hits the boot. He heads to the bench. Hintz comes on and picks a pocket. Now shorthanded. Rope Bay hits a breakaway. Hintz scores! Well, Glenn Denning had broken his stick, and that missed shot by Duchesne allows him to get off. There's a puck jack by Rope. And then. Right front. Oh, and it's dead out. He's got it. And now it's in. Oh, my God. The save was made. Didn't know where it was, but it found the net behind him. Just over the line. Right behind Lafferty. And then Dickinson Lafferty scores. A shorthanded goal for Chicago to tie it. Ouch. Your first Jones able to head man it up for Lafferty. Here's another chance shorthanded for Chicago. And diving in front is Lafferty from Dickinson. A second shorthanded goal in a row. And the Blackhawks take the lead. Lafferty again. And it's 3 2 Chicago. Seattle has found their game. Even things up, they tap it around. Shen scores. He whipped on the first attempt, but he stayed right with it, and Braden Shen has given the Blues just the lead back just a minute and four seconds after the crack it goal right here. Jones goes for the play. Game here tonight, she gets a large ovation every time. Four time champ. Oh, it's a tie game. Adam Larson shot deflected into their own net. With a minute 29 to go in the period, Seattle back to even. A stick broke back. He's pressured at the line. Dalene trying to tie up McDavid, who's got an open net. He won't do it. McDavid gets the open net. He hit the post with 57 seconds to go. Sabres come back the other way. They lift it to the Edmonton line. McDavid open again behind the play. The penalty coming up here. Going to go against Edmonton, but the Sabres with the net empty. Don't want to stop the play now. In behind the net now, touched up by the Oilers. Possibly a little bit of an audition. Oh my goodness, a gun show, and it's a goal, and a gift for Kadri. Kerry letting it with an absolute howler as he tried to play that, and Kadri gets the goal. You've lost a couple of games on the road of a six-game trip. You need something good to happen if you're the Dallas Stars. Jets for their game last night in Colorado, and a bad turnover by Reddick, and Eichel scores! Oh, Reddick gave it away to Jack Eichel. He snaps home his second of the night. It's 4 nothing. I think I talked about the release of Jack Eichel. That is in and out of the net in a hurry. Right into the middle of the 
twice. We had a straight on look at it. This gives him a straight on look and he let that thing go. And Down, lost the skate blade, popped out. <laughs> Tough to play goalie. I guess maybe just a, that's the old school butterfly style, right? That, Stay down. That is the goaltender version of a flat tire, <laughs> no doubt about it. This is the best. How that's, do you get to the bench with one skate blade? You know what, though? Better for a goalie to do that than just when you see players do it. It's uh, it's not quite as graceful as we just saw Carter. Likely put out there by Daryl Sutter in anticipation. Giveaway here. Stars! Nugent Hopkins! as Anderson got a piece of that block, scores! Josh Anderson and Fleury then plays it, and the game is tied! That response by Fleury says it all, doesn't it? You need a break sometimes, and Josh Anderson, who's just been snake bit, been a tough task for him, he hasn't had a point in the last 12 games, and he gets a gift. It gets tipped right here, so it's not icing. So Flurry comes up to play, bobbles it, hasn't been a busy night. Down the boards, pass to the goes out to play it. Taken away by Stroud. And Stroud! Alexei Lafreniere! Off a great setup by Ryan Strom gives the Rangers a 1 0 lead. Two goals and Lafreniere has scored has been because a goaltender has made a miscue. Here's a... Get it in deep. Elliott plays it. Lost it behind the net. Out in front. They shot. They score! Jurgensen stole the puck away from the goaltender and got it out in front to O'Reilly and he belted it in and Buffalo has a 1-0 lead. Now Ron O'Reilly is never going to get an easier one than that. There's no goaltender, no nothing in front of the net when he puts it in for his eighth of the year. Here's Elliott behind the net. Good job by Zemgis Gjurgensen's getting tipped into the zone. Cost it in, almost lost it, and he did. The Hurricanes take advantage and take a two-goal lead here late in the third period. And guess who? Sebastian Ajo. Back-to-back two-goal nights for him. He started things off for this team with a power play goal in the first period. 17, 7 minutes and 17 seconds into it. And Ray will play to clear to center. Pass it on the shoot in. Oh, loose in front, Barkov scores! Alexander Barkov found the loose change. It's 4 3. Thank you very much. Randy, what was your comment? In by Tyler Ennis. Morazic misplays it. Shutout has been broken. At the side of the goal was Colin White. On a loose play, he cashes in off his backhand after Morozik misplayed it. 15 shots. Sometimes you want to get out and do things to make yourself sit down. Kicked out in front, Hapanarek scores into a wide open net. Well, Mark andre Fleury, the victim of a bad bounce, right off the end boards, right by him, and right to the Blue Jackets' top scorer. Here's a look the battle and Nordstrand just sends it in. There's the bounce. It goes past Flurry right to Panarin. Mass missed Formanton. Campbell out to play it. Almost turned it over again. He does and he scores. Alex Formanton gets his first of the year and the game is tied at two. Have any choice but to come out and play this as the Senators are going to get to this first. It's going to be right in the slot. He plays at it, chops at it, and is Clark Bishop. Gets to the puck, slides it under. Konechny centers, Markstrom the save. Able to get it with the right pad, now they send one forward for Brandon Sutter. Out comes Hart for the puck, clears it, held in. Besser hit the post, no it's in. It's in. Pardon me, Brock Besser scored from just inside the blue line with Hart caught out of the net, and the Canucks are on the board. And you see the puck's rolling here. Carter Hart comes out, tries to play it on his forehand. He's got a hold of his jersey. For about 15 seconds, doing whatever he can to hold him back. Yes, it's a penalty, but kudos for Matthews. And a big advantage here. He swings wide and he lost the puck. And no shot attempt. Man, that never a good feeling, obviously. Covers. In front, they score! Aaron Graham put this in his own man. 
Damon Severson. Kasperi Kapanen, the last to touch it. The Maple Leafs win in overtime. Oh, what a crushing way to end it. Big point by the Devils. And Nylander initially Hughes stripped the puck from Nylander, and then Jack didn't get it out. And the outside, you got to try to get in the middle. Look at this bounce. A carom score. Just a cutting. Wicked carom and a break for Anaheim. It's 3-3. This ends up just going around. It's a dump in. As you can see, it ends up going off one of the stanchions. Does not connect. Uh, good idea by Paul. Oh, crazy bounce, and Pasternak is the beneficiary. Big players doing that this morning. Well, certainly going to pay off for the Boston Bruins. I mean, Hellebuck's been unbelievable given the opportunities Boston has had when they've had Dowdy. Cross ice, one timer, Kempe, what a save, Jack Campbell! Spearing it with the glove to deny what seemed to be a certain goal. Across the line. But well, here's the look right here. And... Boy, I'll tell you, oh boy. Now you're going to have to zoom in and see where that is in the webbing. The After video review is determined the puck completely crossed the go. goal line. We have a good day. We're going to get 4 1 LA. All four goals. There's Kovarov. Who played it right to Johansson for the shot. He scores! I can only imagine Kovarov thought it was a flyer, but he played it right to Johansson. And just as you said, Bush, this is a two goal game. Perhaps he sees something that was there, but if it's going across the area. Fox with a little move and hit the post and stayed out. No goal. The red light went on. The hard Wayne, no goal. By Sam Steele. Good pass through. Zuccarello moves in. Off the ground, and it goes in. Chesterkin got a piece, but not enough. Matt Zuccarello. He'll see it. Eventually, just away. There's Shifley passing. Connor right in. Punch hit by Markstrom. Pass across Shifley. Stopped by Markstrom. There's a curtain on the save. I'm speechless. I just can't believe it. Alex Stalock with the paddle. Oh my! Loose, little spin move on his backhand scores. Sensational goal for the captain Connor McDavid, and Edmonton extends to a 3-1 lead. Yeah, that's just put it into a different gear, and he just took that to the net and. Decided not to pass up this opportunity in the backhand side, but again, it's the fourth. Yes. Before. My goodness. That's it. Probably about your Leonard has not made a save in a shootout this year as Kucherov cut again and he scores! Oh, no, he didn't just do that. He didn't just do that. Nikita Kucherov on the shootout it is Ross the line, Pasternak. Backhander, score! An impossible angle backhander and Pasternak somehow slips it past Shesterkin for the early lead. David Pasternak's now on a six-game point streak. That's five goals for Pasternak. The goal is from a sharp angle and one that Shesterkin... ...off, feeds the puck to Kane. Back in, scores! Patrick Kane steals a page on a Johnny Gaudreau's book. Sneaks one in from a sharp angle and ties the game at one. A nearly impossible angle. Kane just sneaks it in. Jabbed in by Kubelik. Turned over, wired home! that one he's missed a couple tonight he's had a couple great chances that have been taken away from Miko uh, by Miss Miko Koskin this and Mayhew will chip and charge quick whips on it and it's in the back of the net and Anaheim has taken the lead and Mayhew has a big smile on his face because of the fortunate nature of what goes on here so
It's always a mental battle. It's always a mental battle. The Kings have had the opportunity. The puck. Sebastian Ajo gets oh, it back no. from Blackwood and sticks it in. You got to be kidding me. Mackenzie Blackwood fanned on the clearance attempt, and it's a slam dunk for Ajo, shorthanded to put the Hurricanes ahead. Well, there was some mistakes in the neutral zone initially. I thought Ajo was going to walk in on low, and then the Devils got a... Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into the shot. Big rebound! Patrick Lutt. For the finished youngster, but now he heads to the bench and hangs his head. There's nothing much he can do. I mean, this is just... Pass up the ice, Perlini with a real good chance. Skinner missed play, a tap in! Dylan Larkin, the captain for the Wings. A gift! And it's 3-0 Detroit.